So hey Chris, how you doing today? Good, how's it going man? Hey good, I hear you're over here today at Lalo's job and uh, you're replacing all the outlets and switches yep. throughout the home, huh? All the plugs and switches. All right, well I know you weren't expecting me and uh, I want to go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the work that you've done. So can you go ahead and remove that faceplate for me and yes. let's inspect this work. Okay, let's go ahead and see the outlet. If you can uh, pull it away from the uh, device box there. Better use spacers on this oh. one because of the, oh, the, the these here box. Yeah, these here spacers here? Yeah, the spacers to oh. make a good connection. Uh -huh. Oh, I see, because the box was set in on yes. too far deep, okay. And then there's our connections. Okay, so let me take a look here. So we got the wire, the power wire wrapped around the ground screw. It's looped and it's tightened down on the power wire and the neutral and the ground wire. Okay, so it's all tightened down and looped properly. That's nice. And, and what's the reason, Chris, for looping it around the screw instead of using the uh, stab well, in on the back? Well, when you stab them in the back, they, they tend to, over the years, lose connection uh -huh. because they're stabbed in like that and it tends to heat up and not heat up and then it loses connection after a while uh -huh. so we wrap it around the screw and you get a much better connection that way okay that's good and then i notice here i notice that these wires here are you have multiple wires in here and only one set of wires coming out so what's happened here it's this is what we call pigtailing and this takes it from a parallel circuit in or from a series circuit into a parallel circuit uh -huh. because the way they do it before where it goes two in and two out if one connection comes out you lose half the other plugs or whatever is downstream from it so uh -huh. by doing this if this plug ever goes bad uh -huh. you don't lose power to anything else okay. and you know it's just this plug oh wow, that's really neat i really like that idea and then here i see these wires here wow so you've actually taken the time to strip these wires and then twist them together and you didn't just bring the wires in like this, you know, bringing three wires together and put a wire nut on it for the wire nut to hold them together. They actually held together right there by twisting them, huh? Yeah, the idea of that is that if this should ever come loose, you still don't lose your connection there. Wow, that's really neat. I like that. So I guess this is uh, how we get away with uh, putting the 10-year warranty on the parts and the uh, lifetime warranty on the workmanship yes, here. That's huh? how we do it. Well, that's really neat. Well... Very good, Chris. I really appreciate it. That's a, that's a really good looking job. Thank you. No problem.